Hey, this is Mike with Skolton's Equipment. And I'm Forrest with Skolton's Service. And behind us is the brand new, never really been seen before, uh, the Trio Track 2400 New Edition. It's the largest self-propelled, self-loading mixer that Trio Elite makes, and it's built from the ground up to be a mixer wagon. A couple points here on this particular machine. As you can tell, it's all self-contained. Everything from cutting your face on the silage to mixing it to discharge. We can start with the discharge here. Any configuration that Trio A currently offers for their mixer wagons, be it curved, chain, belt, side shift, or just regular discharge for a premix feed is available on this machine. All self-contained. Hit that button, are you telling them? Yeah. <laughs> As you can see, access to service components is extremely easy. Hydraulic filters. Hold on, of course. That looks like a JCB filter. Why would Funny you mentioned that, Mike. JCB provides the powertrain for the majority of this machine. Front axle, rear axle, and a four-speed transmission are all the same that you'd find in your standard JCB Agri Load All, providing proven quality components and long life cycles. 2400 size mixer comes with an FTP engine. It's a six-cylinder inline common rail. 260 horsepower at the crank. The great thing that Triolet did utilizing that engine in this machine is you have no DPF filter. You have to use AdBlue and SCR, but all emissions are met without a DPF filter. So Good news. To, you don't have to stop and do that annoying regen. No regens necessary. If you were to purchase a 2000 or a 1700, the three sizes that Trio tack, tracks available in, 24, 2000, and 1700 liter configurations, you would get a four-cylinder JCB Ecomax. Yet again, a proven engine, very efficient. It also does not rely on a DPF filter. This machine is equipped with a quadra steer system, the same as you'd see on your load all. So you have crab steer, four-wheel steer, or two-wheel steer lock. The larger configuration is also available with, as we have here, a six-wheel addition, which is a second drop axle for added capacity. However, when you're unloaded, that axle lifts up increasing your tire life and de decreasing wear on axle components. As you can what, see... What axle is the one that lifts? All right. This, one. This, this front axle would be your lift axle. This one's also equipped with Triolet's full fender kit, reducing mud splash and what have you on your box. This would be a side discharge just to drop it into like a premix pile. Moving around the back, it's fully dot legal. This machine will travel up to 25 miles an hour. You have stop tail turn lights, as well as rear work lights and a beacon to indicate you're slow moving. A reverse camera, which can also be run at full time on the dash to see where you're going. Continuing around the machine, we have another premix discharge, as well as a right hand side camera so you can control the distance to your bunks when operating on this machine. Well, some also people use them just to drop it on the floor in an alleyway if they don't have bunks. They can use yep. the store on both sides for that as well as a premium. Hey, hold on here. This engine, Look at this. This thing's wider than wide gets. Does this engine just always sit out here? No, I Mike. Like whack it off. This engine automatically slides in and out with four bolts and one C-clamp, and then it electrically slides itself in and out to allow you for ease of maintenance, as well as to clean it, and make sure you can get all the chaff off so you don't have any thermal events. How many bolts did you say? Four bolts, Mike, Four bolts. Wow, that's and one C-clamp. Very easy, very simple. You could probably you teach a kid to do it. A no, it's all electric. When we finish our walk around, Mike, we'll come over here and we'll run it in. This is a very simple little in-out controller here, although it requires a special key to verify that we do this safely and it doesn't happen while you're operating or when you're not ready. Hey Mike, you take a look, make sure everything's clear. All right, we're now sliding it in. See, no effort at all, just slides right in. You don't have to line anything up. It self meshes your hydraulic gearbox and for your hydrostats. I don't know if I can think of something that the engine slides out that easy. I, I was impressed, Mike. Makes oil changes a breeze. Another benefit is, see, it's fully in. Most of your comp competitive mixers 
run an engine in the back, you end up with a bouncy ride. This keeps your engine centered in your machine, gives you a lower profile, smoother ride. All right, we're done. The engine's back in. We just got to put our couple mounting bolts back. They're more like safety retainer bolts because it's mounted to the rail, but you don't want anything to happen inadvertently. Continuing around the machine, we still keep that principle of easy maintenance. Easy to fill gear oils for your two rotary motors for your rotary screws within it. Easy fill grease for the grease points. This thing is equipped with auto greaser. Your ad blue and your fuel tank. It operates a baffled fuel tank, so it makes sure you never starve the engine for fuel, regardless of how steep your bunks are and your hills in and out of your farm. One really cool feature I found with this is it runs a clean fix fan, which is a reversing fan system. However, there's a little twist. It's all auto, but when this machine's in discharge mode, it will not reverse the fan, preventing you from blowing chaff in your animal's eyes in the bunks. We'll come around here. We have our sliding surface for our cab. Our cab will slide all the way back. So the front of the cab's up here and you can see your whole stack. Do you know, Mike, that Triole has a top, the highest capacity for a self-propelled mixer of a 20 foot face? I did not know that, yep. but I do know a lot of people might ask, why would you slide the cab up or down? Why not just leave it in one spot? Well, because if you left it up in the highest point, you'd have the best visibility to, to, surf it, or to face your stack, but you wouldn't be road legal to go under bridges. So that's mainly why it slides down for transport. When the cab's up, it's also really easy for backing under augers for your premix minerals and what have you. Another thing that the new addition does is they raise the cab for the belt. Because everybody's trying to feed more cows quicker, you want more material under your belt. We raise the cab height 75 millimeters additionally to allow more feed to travel up your belt. <clears throat> this belt also operates the largest bearings of any belt drive conveyor at a 280 millimeter bearing in the upper drive and the lower drive. The belts come in two different lengths. 17s and 2000s have one length, and then you get a longer belt on your 2400 mixer to allow more feed capacity. For you guys who have bunkers and will be doing a lot on concrete, this is a removable cutter bar. So you can remove it, replace it as time wears on. Looks like there's some bolt holes here maybe for some extra knives. Yeah, you can, you can improve strips. the paddles and add wear strips onto your rotor. Your knives here to cut your face. On average, a silage that's faced with a triolet mixer or a triolet cutter has a five degree lower surface temperature. And that's Celsius, making it so you guys have a longer lasting bunker. One thing this machine is equipped with is your auto contour facing. So you don't have to have your operator moving multiple different levels to get a smooth contour. He simply puts it in auto contour mode, raises it to the top of the stack, and it brings it down in a straight line, even curve. He raises it back up and it does the next cut in the exact same parameters to make sure that stack is nice and even. The, the smoother your face, the better your silage lasts. Not only does your silage last longer, your employees and anyone around that stack is safer because you don't have a big wow in it for an avalanche of silage to happen and bury someone. It's a great point, Mike. Safety and quality. Perfect. Moving around to the cab, as you can see, it's equipped with LED work lights and dot legal headlights. Of course, this cab pretty quiet inside. It's very quiet, Mike. When we're running this, the beautiful thing about this machine is it's meant to operate between 15 and 1800 RPMs. So your pumps are all variable displacement, so you don't need to have your engine running wide open. You get full cutter speed, full hydraulics functions at 15 to 1800 RPMs, depending on the load. So Mike, it's a great point. It does operate quietly. Cab's pretty luxurious. They've done a lot of improvements on this. It's got a heater, AC, a refrigerator cooler, as well as a camera display in the dash to make sure you're operating safely on your farm. Another feature this cab has that your competition may not, when you plug in your block heater, it has a thousand watt cab heater, so it keeps your cab warm and toasty for you on cold winter mornings. I'm gonna start this up and try this out. Just smooth, quiet. They did a good job making sure the windscreen defogged by putting large fogging vents down there. I'm gonna shut the door so we can operate this safely, but we'll run it around. You guys can see the auto contour work. 
The active suspension is currently operating. You can see we raised up all the way up and then lower back down. You lower down so you can cleanly scrape into your feed pile. All right, now we're gonna start sliding the cab. You're not required to fully raise the cab when you're operating. It's just nice to get more visibility. I think we covered everything for today on this. Just a quick synops here. Remember, this afternoon we'll be having a little event here for anybody who wants to see it in person. So, RSVP and swing on by. Remember, if, if mixing's your game, game Skolton's the name. <laughs>